Okay, so this is uh, the Mad Scientist Lab here with Francis examining the equipment. And here we have our rubidium standard. If he doesn't knock it over. Hello, Francis. Hello. 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 Okay, and here we are comparing the um, fluke signal generator which you see behind Francis there which is set to 10 megahertz 8 dBm output comparing that on the scope here to the rubidium standard and you can see the scope thinks uh, the scope is triggering from the uh, rubidium standard you can see that the scope thinks that it's just shy of 10 megahertz 4 hertz lower than 10 megahertz um, but the scope is what's wrong not the uh, not the um, rubidium standard and you can see that the um, the signal from the 10 megahertz output of the signal generator is drifting relative to the or it's not drifting but it's its frequency is different by such a small amount that you get this sort of dancing waveform pattern as the the um, the two signals coincide uh, and then differ in phase and, uh, by as much as one cycle and then coincide again and as you can see that takes about three seconds to happen which means that the assuming that the rubidium standard is dead on the fluke signal generator here is one third of a hertz off at 10 megahertz which is 30 parts per billion